Okay, so how do I discover the script logic that I need here to find those nodes? There's a couple ways that I've figured out how to do beyond just the documentation. The first way is leverage the Sublime and LSP environment where you can discover the APIs just through autocomplete. So in this particular case, add node. Okay, there's the documentation for it, describes the parameters, gives you the returns, great stuff, okay? But in some cases, like the one we're currently in, I'm looking for a find nodes. What does that look like? This one, find or add node, I'm not seeing a find nodes. So wh where is it? Another way to figure out the code that you need is to actually drop an apex an apex edit graph node okay bring up the apex network view drop a node that you think you need so in this particular case i hit tab and i type i need find nodes there it is so i drop that node sometimes there's a little delay on my box i don't know why i drop that node and then what i do is i drop an apex script node and I'm gonna take the output of the edit graph into the second input, not the first, not the third, the second input of the Apex script node. I go to the decompile tab here and select second input and then say convert to, snip, convert to snippet. And that basically converts that graph and gives me some code that I need, okay? Okay, another added wrinkle, however, is this, I could come over here, I could go back to my script and type in apex.graph.findnodes, okay? I could absolutely do that, but it, there's actually an easier one that I have found through just trial and error. Um, and again, this is where there's, a, there's an overlap between the Apex Graph Handle uh, API, uh, which is, I think, what SideFX really wants us all to use because it's a superset of the lower level Apex namespace but this is likely to change okay but in this particular case for our purposes i want to say top node equals um graph and again I'm, i want to use that graph that was created right here in my original script node i want to say apex graph dot find nodes and i want to give that a path and that path in this particular case is going to use the tag function and this is where you type in the name exactly as you put it in up earlier in the in the uh in the graph and i need that for my the bottom and the the deform so i'm gonna say bottom and this is bottom and then say this is deform okay and say this is deform the, the case matters the spelling matters here otherwise it's not going to work now, one last thing, find nodes returns an array of, of Apex node IDs, okay? Uh, how do I know that? Well, you can come back over here and you can say apex.graph.findnodes and it says return nodes, Apex node ID array, okay? I know in, the, in my particular case that each of these, there's only one tag per bone. So I'm gonna just grab the first index, okay? Um, oh my goodness. If I can learn how to type here. And so that's what I'm gonna do on each of these guys is grab that first index. Great, and I save. And when I save, again, it goes into the snippet. And in fact, I start to see the graph behind this script node start to be generated, okay? All right, we're gonna use this edit graph to script decompile trick. We're going to use the autocomplete trick, um, LSP, and we're going to use the documentation like crazy as we move forward. Okay. Next, we're going to create uh, a subnet node and that subnets in Apex is actually um, basically represented in script as a Python function. And so we're going to put our squash and stretch logic into its own function, which shows up as a subnet. And I'll show you that here uh, right now.